back to today's video. You guys already know what we're doing by the title. It's Sunday reset. I don't know why, but it feels like I got hit by a truck. I literally have no energy, but we need to get shit done. We need to lay shit down. We need to set and prepare for the week to come. Because if I don't have stuff prepared, I go through the week with like nothing in my brain. Pure particles floating around in there. Like I need my week to be completely organized, strategic set up. I need to know what videos I'm going to film, what I'm going to do, what days I got free, what days I'm going to edit, or I'm not doing nothing at all. <laughs> And that's low-key what I did last week. Not gonna lie, but not that bad. Not that bad, okay, guys? Like, I still got my editing done. I only missed one upload day last week. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But low-key, I didn't film at all. <laughs> But I did stream. Round of applause. Also, guys, I cannot lie to you guys. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I'm going to come clean. <sighs> I'm sorry to tell you guys. I'm sorry to hide this from you. But it's not even Sunday. <laughs> Okay, it's actually Saturday. But listen, listen. I was gonna film a Sunday reset, but tomorrow we're actually going to the beach with some friends. So I can't do nothing tomorrow, so I might as well do it today, have everything set up. But if I put Saturday reset bit, like who the fuck is gonna watch that? Like, let's be honest. Sunday is the relaxed, the reset days, but just for me, it's gonna be Saturday. Also, last week, I don't know, it was really a lazy week for me in general. Like, I barely did any exercise. Actually, I'm lying. I went like three days exercise. I actually did like a three mile run with my friend. I went to Pilates with my friend. It was a very productive week socially like i talked to a lot of people i got out of my comfort zone you know i made a whole group of friends like i'm so popular now like it's crazy <laughs> but work wise i did nothing it's because listen this is exactly what it was last week it was semana santa and semana santa everybody's basically off of work so everybody's out with their friends and stuff and i was like wait if everybody else is off of work i'm off work too like semana santa too but no i am a youtuber i'm self-employed so am i ever really off psych I'm off when I fucking say I'm off on God. But let's get back on topic. So today, basically what I need to do is set my week up. That means planning. That's like the number one on my list is planning. And I, there's just been mumbo jumbo up here. I'm not going to lie. Like every time I try to sit down and plan, it's like too much is going on. And I don't know how to organize my thoughts. And it's really difficult. And I just keep pushing it back and back down the week. But today, we're getting shit done. Also, right now, we're going to go to Walmart to get like some groceries. We're not going to get a lot of groceries. We're just going to get little stuff for like snacks that we can eat if we don't have food type stuff. And I'm going to get some coffee. I'm going to show you guys my new coffee routine. Oof, I love Like, I feel like a barista. It's the best part of my day. It literally gives me so much serotonin. So I'm going to show you guys that. Be excited. Be excited. I'm going to do laundry because I have laundry right here. Plus, I have like five canastos downstairs that are filled to the brim with clothes. And they have probably been in those canastos for like not even a lot, like a year. Like, it's bad. Then. Before we continue on with the video guys, I want to thank Bottle Bottle for sponsoring this vid And y'all let me tell you I was so excited when they came to me with these bottles because look at this for No me digas. If you didn't know this about me, I'm obsessed with bottles I feel like water bottles are so freaking fun because it makes it feel like you're in a video game Like how much water can you drink in a day? Oh starting off with number one Okay, she's bright. She's vibrant. This is so cute. Hello No me digas. Another pink one. How did they know? If you don't have a thermal bottle with you, what are you doing? Like, how are you drinking waters on your adventures? On your endeavors? Because I know we're not still using plastic bottles, babe. These colors. Shut up. Shut up. Like, literally shut up. And like this bit. <laughs> so a full bottle, y'all, can last you a whole entire afternoon, which is perfect for the summer coming up because we need to stay hydrated, loves. We don't want to be passing out on the streets. Trust me, I've had those days, y'all. And the best part about these bottles, which makes them so much different from other bottle brands, forget about the other bottle brands because this, this is going to be your forever. Babes. <laughs> Girl, they literally have a storage bin at the bottom. Hello? Hello? I need to have a call with the CEO because this is a mastermind idea. You could put your vitamins in here. You could put your keys in here. It's a pretty spacious area, guys. These bottles also come with a dual usage lid. So they have one where you can sip it. And they also have one where you can pour, babes. If you want that water fast, you don't got time to... And these are also double wall vacuum insulated. I know that sounds crazy and fancy, but basically what that means is no leaks, babe. Thank you. Thank you. This will also keep your water icy cold for 24 hours straight or piping hot coffee for 16 hours straight, y'all. This is the new girl. This is the new in girl. So get on it fast, okay? We're gonna be hydrated baddies this summer. Also, thank you so much, Bottle Bottle, for sponsoring this. I literally love thermals. I love water bottles. This is the best surprise I ever got in my life. Thank you. You guys can click the link in the description to get you a matching bottle, or you can use my code right here for some little monies off. You know, I got you. So let's get back to the video. Naughty man. Oh my god. <laughs> I knew you were. Are we so weak? Dude, yeah. Naughty man, naughty man, naughty man. Oh 
my hair looks crazy. Greasy. Cheesy. Easy peasy. You know I pull Lemon up. squeezy. Lemon squeezy, girl. You better settle down before I squeeze it on this trigger. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> on this trigger. So we just got to Walmart. We're gonna go in. I need me some coffee. I'm like fucking feeding. Oh my god, it. I thought you were gonna say I need me some condoms. No. Oh, Naughty bay. Naughty bay. Naughty bay. <laughs> Naughty. Yeah, so we're gonna get some coffee. Also, guys, make sure you guys are wrapping it up with the condoms, okay? What? <laughs> this is a good lesson to be learned. Let's separate the condoms from the coffee, please. Okay. I feel like we'd be eating like toddlers, bro, because like we just arrive off sandwich and huevos <laughs> and huevos. You do. Like, I don't know why, but the Walmarts here, I feel like they're always packed, bro. Like, go the fuck home when they record. <laughs> but let me show you guys what I got. Okay, I hate these type of tortillas. But Michael's been loving them recently, so. Okay, next we got some huevitos. Claro, claro. That's like what we live on. As I was saying, guys, I feel like we eat like little toddlers because we just eat sandwiches and huevitos like every fucking day. And if we make dinner, it will be like pollito with rice. And that's it. Like simple, like the easiest dinner knows to mankind. And then we got some pan. If you guys didn't know, we're boycotting bimbo, okay? They support us. So we just got some random ass bread, bro. It might be a little expensive, but at the cost of buying bimbo is greater than spending a few more dollars on this. Okay, next we got some salad because, you know, I've been entering my healthy era. And they're easy as hell to make. And I'll take anything that's easy to make. Thank you. And we got salami. I love salami. I cannot have my sandwiches without salami. Then they're just nasty and plain. I'll still eat them. And then we got filletes de vasa. It's gonna make fried chicken. I mean, fried fish, okay? So then we got this milk that Michael likes. I don't like this at all. It tastes too much like milk to me, and milk is disgusting. Down. We got croutons for our salad. Harina de trigo. I don't know why we got this. I seriously don't know why. I think we're entering our baking era. This is the best queso known to mankind, manchego. Low-key expense, though, not gonna lie. But it does come with a lot. We literally got three types of different queso in this, in this grocery haul. I don't know why. Knowing damn well he's lactose intolerant, he's gonna be duking himself. And me, I mean, I could eat it with no problems. See, better. Con pelos, ese way. Okay, next I got this, mayonesa. Guys, so I was telling my sisters, I was like, because on my last California trip, I was trying to buy stuff to cook at home because like food in California, food in the United States just be crazy in general, expensive as hell. And I was trying to find some mayonesa like with some flavor to it, bruh. With some chipotle algo, because over here, the mayonesa, they be having like hella flavors, like mayonesa de limon, lemon mayonnaise. I don't really sound good in English, but it's so good. Like they have so many different flavors and it's like the maker breaker of a sandwich. That's what makes a good ass sandwich oh god damn like that plain ass mayonnaise and the best i could find when i was in cali was spicy mayo probably got red 40 up in there like i don't want to know but yeah this is my favorite mayo to make sandwiches with so this is the other queso that we got this is queso for quesadillas asparagus to make it all balanced thank you pechuga de pollo this is what we use for the sandwiches so good michael calls this jamon like boy it literally says pechuga de pollo this is not jamon this is pollo Oh, and this is our third piece of cheese, cheddar cheese. I fucking hate cheddar cheese. And I think it's because I have a bad experience. The cheese that I grew up eating in the U.S., you know, like that sliced square cheese for sandwiches? That's what my mom would put on the sandwiches, bro. <clears throat> Disgusting. I know that cheese isn't real. I don't even think it says cheese on the package because they know damn well that's not cheese. I don't know what the fuck it is, and that's what scared me as a kid. I always noticed it. Like, something's wrong with this cheese, bro. And, like, for it to be this color, like, that's unnatural. That's a neon. That's neon cheese. Okay, so this is the cafe that I got. Loki, this is expensive too, but it's from Oaxaca. It's cafe Mexicano, so you know I gotta support it, okay? The last coffee that I tried was from Veracruz, and it was pretty good. Pretty damn good. I finished it in like two weeks. Not gonna lie. And it was like this size, so I'm gonna make me some right now. I'm gonna show you guys how I make it, and it's so damn bomb. Okay, next we got rice vinegar, okay? Okay. And salsa de chile dulce con mango. Really bomb, really bomb. Whatever dinner he's making tonight, he's making it with this. So I'm excited because I like chile, I like dulce, and I like mango. So put them all together, I'm down. I'm down. Next we got some butter. 
And the total of all this was 1,300 pesos, guys. 1,300 pesos. Do the math. Oh, look, look. This is my other favorite mayonnaise. Mayonesa con jugo de limones. A light. A light. Because we're healthy. So we have an area in our fridge that says Flex Crisper And I need someone like right now to let me know down below what the fuck is that for Actually I should probably just look it up Oh the best place for your meat, fish, cheese, and vegetables Okay I was putting my salad in there But that's vegetables so I've been ahead of the game Okay guys now it's time to make my coffee It's time to truly get this video started Because once I get that coffee in my system it's time to go Get the fuck up and let's get shit done I just be lollygagging until I get a little bit of caffeine in my system I think I need Adderall in my system, not gonna lie. Okay, so first step is you need your coffee and it needs to be molido, okay? That means like grained up. We can't have the big grains because the big grains ain't for the big boy. I am so tired of being blind. I'm looking at the camera right now and it's just pixelated. Literally, the whole world's pixelated for me right now. This is my reminder to you guys, if I post this before the eclipse, do not look at the eclipse, okay? Because I think that's what made me blind when I was in high school. Because my curious ass, my rebel ass, looked at the eclipse, and I feel like I went blind ever since then. And it's not fun. It's not fun, guys. Okay, guys, so you need one of these, but these come in one of these. A coffee maker, an espresso machine. I got mine from Koblenz, okay? Not Nestle, because Nestle's a horrible brand. Okay, now let's do ASMR. Let's give you guys a break from my yapping. Let's do a taste test. <sighs> this is the best coffee I've ever had in my life. I'm just kidding. It tastes like every other coffee. It is good though. I don't taste the difference of like different coffees, coffee brands. You know what I mean? Because this one's from Oaxaca and the other one's from Veracruz. Like I don't taste the difference. Maybe I put too much milk. I'm tasting too much milk. You know, I'm tasting too much colonizer. But it is really good. I'll give you all that. I give y'all that. It's 100% beats spending so much money every single day on coffee when you can make it yourself at home in like one minute. Like literally one minute. Once I started making this, I was like, bro, I can't believe I was spending like this much money on coffee every day when it deadass is so much fun to do yourself, first of all. And it's so fast. I don't know if you guys noticed back here, but I have a lot of dishes to do. So I'm gonna do this right now. Watch a cute little video and get these dishes done. Oh my god, do you guys know those movies where like the scene, something will change drastically in the scene, but it'll be like a short scene to another scene that people don't really realize. Like in one scene, somebody's hair will be down and the next scene, their hair will be in a ponytail and then the next scene, their hair will be back down again. But like nobody notices because it's like three seconds type shit. That's what I just felt like because I just switched sides so you guys can get my better angle. I have one angle on my face. I don't know what side it is, but it's literally despicable. Despicable. It don't even look like me. It don't even, I don't know who the fuck it is, but it's scary. setting i kind of started this video really late but that's just me personally that's how i get shit done <laughs> i'm a procrastinator what can i say but let's get comfy let me get on this bed let's talk guys it's actually crazy how low-key therapeutic it is to clean and like do the dishes but like not when you have to do it you know what i mean that just takes the fun out of it no also guys i've been having this bad habit really bad habit actually like when i do these types of videos or like cleaning videos oh my god it's so bad it's so bad and this is really influencer of me i'll wait to do this shit or like push it off just so i can do it for a bit 
I'm like, might as well get a video out of it, you know what I mean? So might as well save it for next week, and then... And yeah, that's been really bad of me, because I've been doing that with a lot of stuff. I'm like, why would I deep clean for the free? <laughs> If I could get a video out of it, you know what I mean? Also, I want to redo my room. The comments about my wall got to me. And I kind of want to just make it a girly pop fantasy. Like, I want it cute, pink. I want this wall to stay green. I don't know, though. Like, I might just say, fuck it, make it pink. Duh. I'm in my Barbie house. This is my Barbie life. I do what I want. Thank you. So, I need to think about what I'm going to do the rest of this bit. Because it's already, like, 6 p.m. Oopsie. Oopsie. But, personally, I got a lot of done. I got the dishes done. Went to the store. Got my coffee done. And, yeah. Made a TikTok. Uh, round of applause. Somebody commented on one of my productive videos and they're like, influencers are lazy as fuck. <laughs> I'm like, is that how y'all see me? Because <sighs> I am fucking lazy. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But even if I had a nine to five, I'll be lazy as fuck. I would wake up 10 minutes before. That's like kind of how I am personality wise. But like, I'm lazy productive. Like, I'm a high functioning lazy person. Because even school, like, I would do shit last minute and it would always come out good. I would get that 100%. I would get that A. Yeah, I would get my shit done. I always have my shit done, okay? Just the last minute, like the very last minute. And that's a really bad habit. I'm like, how the fuck do I break this? Please. Honestly, I've been better. I've really been better. I've really been on my shit. But it's still lingering. So I'll have videos pre-recorded a week to in advance. Like, I'll be good stacked on videos, but I'll wait to do the final touch editing or the thumbnail until literally the day I post it. <laughs> And it stresses out my entire day. It makes the day so fucking long. Then I stay on my computer for literally the entire day. For hours. And also, I'm so picky about my videos. I've been getting very picky. Everything has to be perfect. To the dot has to be perfect. So, yeah, I be on my computer for literal hours. Especially on the days I post. And that's not good. Like, girl, you could have chilled this entire day. Just chill. Just relax. Just vibe. We decided to wait to do the final touches to the last minute. So, that's goofy on you, Alexis Marie Lucas. You're a goofy goober. I'm a goofy goober. Ah, dun, 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 dun. We're all goofy goobers. Ah, dun, 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 dun. Okay, so let me get the fuck up. Let me stop being lazy. I'm giving influencers a bad rep. I don't even like to call myself influencer, bitch. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a tuber. Okay, fuck all that influencer shit. Like, tuber for life. I need to do laundry. Luckily, I've been on my laundry shit. I hate when I be procrastinating on my laundry and I get on my, like, last pair of Tonys. <laughs> Or like my last pair of socks. It's just the worst thing ever. And I can't go out or do anything that day. Because I does have no Tonys or no fucking socks. Like that's the worst. That's hell. That's the pits of hell. But I've been really good on my laundry. Like I'm stacked up. Okay. I used to do that a lot bro. And also because our fucking dryer and washer was broke. So like not really my fault. Not really my fault. <laughs> the week a productive week we need to deal with the uncleansiness of the house okay and honestly my house is not really dirty like it's actually pretty clean right now i'm not gonna lie let me give you a pat on the back for that my office this is where i do all my work this is where i actually need to edit a video today because i'm posting tomorrow every wednesday and sunday if you're wondering my office is probably the most messiest place in the house right now i'm just gonna show you guys what we're looking at it's honestly not too bad but it's too much okay and if my area is messy i just feel unproductive i don't want to do shit i feel even irritated at times so let's get this situated yes so these are clothes that i got from a brand that i need to do a video on so i need to hang those all up this is michael's closet though by the way this is the boy's closet ew and then i have all this right here it's just it's a lot going on i need to organize it better i don't know why michael's clothes is here and then there's more of michael's clothes on the floor okay this bag is mine i don't know where i'm gonna put that right here i just have a bunch of random shit from when we we're moving in literally look at this i don't know where to put it guys um but i need to do something i need to start putting stuff away this has been here for literal months and i have another box under it too with a bunch of random stuff oh more boxes more boxes this i need to throw away it is low-key fucking messy i can't even lie it is low-key a mess my makeup over here because this is where i do my makeup because i have nowhere else to do my makeup and my beautiful kelly oh she's fine tamo mucho tamo mucho kelly this is my pc setup probably the most cleanest part of this place 
but not down there. So I'm gonna get everything situated or as much as I can. Just, I need to start doing something with this. I've been actually really lazy about all this. This is gonna be perfect for the Sunday, Saturday reset. And then I'm gonna start working. It's currently like 7 p.m. I could have got a lot more done if I wasn't being a lazy procrastinator bitch. And if I just woke up a little earlier. So this is my sign to you guys. Wake up earlier, stop being a procrastinator. Get up, okay? Because I would much rather be in bed right now. tomorrow so i can just relax tomorrow at the beach all i gotta do is press publish upload that's what i like okay that's what i need even though this was a long night a lot of hours editing it takes all the stress on upload days away it alleviates me it levitates me i'm not gonna lie i am so damn tired like i feel like i can't even keep my eyes open i wanted to do like a, a wind down like a little face mask which i actually think i am gonna do because i low-key need that low-key need that i'm not gonna lie I'm low-key stressed. <laughs> I am gonna do my wind down routine. I actually need to switch my clothes over though. That shit's been in the wash for like how long? It probably has mildew. Probably mildew scent now. Ugh, my fault, my fault. Oh, and then the last thing I need to do on my Sunday reset, Sunday, Saturday reset, I just, it feels so bad to lie to you guys. Like it hurts me, like my heart breaks. I'm like, no, I can't. They're gonna, they're gonna know. The last thing I need to do is fill out my... <laughs> Bro, I hate being bilingual now. I hate it. I hate it. I'm thinking of agenda in my fucking brain, but I want to say planner. But I was not thinking of planner. I was thinking agenda in español. Dude, being bilingual is just so hard. Like, ugh. I'm so different. it's time to fill out this planner i actually love this part of my saturday sunday reset because my planner is just honestly so cute and it gives me serotonin every time i write in it thank you valentina boys so while i was doing my little wind down i was thinking about a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about now that i'm sitting here no tengo ni una puta idea actually one thing i wanted to talk to you guys about was my back knee i forgot what video it was but i was telling you guys how like my back knee started getting bad out of nowhere like girl what the fuck like i was having a clear back for so long but then out of nowhere
where I started breaking out and then somebody was like, girl, it's the Pilates beds. And that made so much sense because I was like, when did this start? Because originally I thought it was because my birth control that my back started breaking out. But my back started breaking out before I even got off birth control. So that makes no sense. It's not adding up. And then it added up. When I started Pilates, babes, that's when. There's nothing wrong with back now, okay, guys? Like, I promise I shower every single day. It don't mean you're dirty. We need to normalize back knee because when I grew up, I swear everybody I knew didn't have no damn back knee. I'm like, where the fuck the back knee bad bitch is at? What? Like, am I the only one? Hey. Let's get this planner filled out. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, a new week and a new month. This is starting the month of April. And we're starting back with my pink pen. Yes, I love. I was using a purple pen. I will not change the color of a pen on this whole page. No, for this whole month. Because this month is green. The theme is green, right? So pink and green. It's going to go together like cocoa and butter. You guys know why I actually first stopped using this planner? Because in my first month, I fucked up. So basically what happened is I messed up one month and I made it look ugly. Like, I don't know if it was my handwriting. I don't know if I used the wrong color pen, but it just looked ugly. And I was like, you scratch that month. Let's get a whole new planner and make that month pretty. I don't know. I don't know if there, there might just be something wrong with me. But anyways, we're starting off really cute. My handwriting looks good. That's what I like. So this is a weekly planner. It goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's not a daily planner. I tried daily planners and I just personally can't do it. Like I need to see my week layout. I need to see what I got going on for the week. So right here I do to-do list for the week. And then I write down the videos that I need to film this week. Also during this time I write down any appointments I have and any workout classes that I have. Dude, I had so much to tell you guys and like I don't know where it all went. Guys, I'm so Oh, sorry, I had so much good news. I had so much good stuff to tell ya. What bids do I need to film this week? This is what I'm talking about. You guys remember what I was talking about earlier in the bid? Where once I start to do my planning, it's just mambo jambo up here. Like, I know I have a lot of shit to do, but like, it's not coming out. Like, it's too much going on. It's like going too fast in my brain. It's like this. And I can't grab it fast enough to put it down on the paper. Girl, don't try to sway. You know, you smell like a dead prey. Ooh. Girl, yeah, you know I'm always gonna slay. Boy, you my baby. Uh, you got it all day. I'm gonna give it to you in the night or in the day. Uh. When I hit it, I make you spin like a babe blade. Ooh. Oh, that was kind of cool. I didn't get it at first, but you ate eight. Ooh. Girl, I know. You better not be throwing no shade. Ooh. Hey, I never throw shade because it's always Sunday. If not, you gonna hella catch this fade. Ooh, I don't want that fade because that booty real stanky. If you don't want this fade, I better get paid. Ooh. Or else you better let me get laid. Yeah, and you better throw me a parade after I make that clap, clap, girl, a charade. Back to my agenda. So really the purpose of this is planning on my content and when I need to film and when I need to get stuff done. Because if not, I would just go into every single week blind and then it will be upload day and I'm like, oh shit, I don't have a video. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So we need to prepare so that doesn't happen. Guys, every Monday and Friday, I'm also going to be streaming on Twitch, okay? So I already got that noted down because I'm really excited for that. Oh, why Michael just show me this? I'm like literally in the zone. Let me know what you all see there. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. What is that? Ah! So I got all the videos that I'm going to post for this month. I got it all planned out. Can you guys believe I've been posting two times a week for like how long? Okay, I missed some days. Some days. But this is low-key crazy. You guys remember when I would barely post once a week? Who am I? What? That concludes. All right, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this Sunday reset. This is basically what I do for a Sunday reset. This is like the real deal, okay? Let me know down below how your guys' Sunday resets go. And I love you guys. Thank you for staying here. Thank you for accompanying me on this amazing day of, of life. We need to take every day with gratitude, guys. We need to be grateful for every day, be happy for every day, live every day, live in the present, live in the moment. Words from Toto Chan. <laughs>